Okay, my friends, we are going to continue with our learning of some more suspended chords. You should have been started with the D, D sus 2, uh, D sus 2, D sus 4 in the previous module. Now we're going to do A, A sus 2, and A sus 4. Again, very simple. It's just going to be add and take away a finger to a chord you already know. And we're going to have fun with it, right? Like we do with all our stuff. Music stuff. So, A major. You know this A major chord, right? You've been playing it. You're muting the low E with your thumb. It should sound like this. Right? There's a good look at that. Right, what could be easier than this? A suspended second. All you do, lift off your third finger. Bang. Listen to the ringy quality of that chord. Do you hear that? That's your A sus 2. You just take off the third finger. Right, so, A sus 2. That's all it is, but listen how rich that chord is. If you want to go from A to A sus 2. I have a melody right there for a song. That simple. Now, A sus 4, all you're going to do is you're going to add your pinky to the D note right there at the third fret on the B string. That's adding a D, which is the fourth, in the key of A. We're removing this note here, the C sharp, so that's why it's a suspended fourth. And you could do this a couple different ways. I'll show you. Here's our A. I'm not playing anything with the pinky, see? I'll just pull it back a little bit. See, that pinky stays tight, man. That's what you want. Now, drop that pinky down, and here's your Aces 4. Hear that difference? Listen to that, how beautiful that sounds. That's that suspended note. Sus4, A. Sus4, A. Some of my students play it like this. You could do it either way. I like using this because it makes it real easy to go back to the A major. Because remember, we're going a lot from the major, sus, major. Some of my students do this. They go slide over with their third finger. So they play the A like this, and when they go to A sus4, they slide with that third finger and they get it like that and then they got to slide back to get to the A so they're doing this I rather just add my pinky and leave this A all nice together in that cluster sus4 A sus2 by removing the third finger A what could be easier than that let's do one measure each chord with strum 2 alright let's check this out now here again let me show you those chords one more time on this angle A a major, remember when you just say A, the major is implied. A sus 2, removing that third finger. Back to A, add the pinky on the D note. Sus 4, A, sus 2, A. Here we go. 2, strum 2, slow. 1, 2, 3, 4. Remove, sus 2, back to A. Sus 4. Take it off the pinky, back to A, A sus 2, back to A, let's go again, another A, now let's go to the sus 2, A, sus 4, A, A sus 2, and then on the A. Isn't that awesome? And now we're going to be throwing that into a lot of our songs. We're going to throw that sus2 or that sus4 in there. It's easy. You're just adding a finger or taking away a finger. And like I said in the previous modules, you can add these to when you're using, anytime you're using that A chord or you're going to an A minor. Let's do it on A minor now, okay? Remember, you can use suspended chords with major or minors because they have no third in them. Here's your A minor chord. Let's have a look at it. Look at that nice pinky placement, right? Right piggy backed up there tight, thumb muting the low E string. Here's what A minor sounds like. Okay, dark, like D minor, right? Listen, D minor. Dark, A minor, dark. Now, to play an A sus 2, right? All you do, remove the first finger. There's your sus 2. A minor, A sus 2. What could be easier than that? And to play the sus 4 again, you're going to have to grab it this time with the pinky. Can't slide because that's not the right note. So you got to grab it with that pinky. There's A minor. Sus4. So a minor. Sus2. So a minor. So let's do 
a measure each, A minor, A sus 2, A minor, A sus 4, A minor. Listen how dark this will sound, pedaling off the A minor. Strum 2, here we go. 2, 3, 4, A minor. Sus 2, take that first finger off. Put it back, A minor. Add the pinky first. Take the pinky off. You're back to A minor, first finger off, sus 2. Back to A minor. Stay on A minor. Now, sus 2, pink, first finger off. Put the first finger back, A minor. Add the pinky, sus 4. Back to A minor. First finger off, sus 2. Back to A minor, let's do it again. A minor, sus 2. A minor. Sus 4, A minor, right to D, Sus 2, now we're doing together, D minor, Sus 4, Sus 2, back to D, D major, back to A minor, Sus 2, a minor, plus four. A minor, sus two. That was very good, very good. Do you see now how we can actually start putting these together in different progressions? And that's what we're going to be doing in our songs, okay? So I want you to practice your A sus two, A sus four, and practice that. A measure each mixed in with an A going sandwiching them in there between the A major, A sus 2, A major, A sus 4, A major, and then do it with A minor, A minor, A sus 4, or, or A sus 2, either one, you can mix them up, A minor, A sus 4, A minor, A sus 2, A minor. Always sandwich that major and minor in between. Have fun with those, and I will see you in the next module where we're going to do some more suspended chords. Rock on, you're doing great. Stay positive. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, so it takes a little time. Ten minutes a day, you'll be there. Believe me. Have fun. See you in the next module.